What is up YouTube? Crafting Cards here. Happy Tuesday. Now, today's video, we're going to be working on our 97 Civic Project car today, and we're going to be fabricating and routing some custom intercooler piping for our new intercooler and turbo setup. So, really looking forward to that. Uh, but first things first, before we dive into this, thank you guys for helping our channel reach 2,000 subscribers the other day. So, both me and Gideon are super stoked to be hitting this achievement. And yeah, we'll be sure to celebrate with some more giveaways. I just got to catch up with you guys. We reached 2,000 a lot faster than I was expecting, so... Yeah, we'll try to catch up with the giveaways, uh, maybe get some new merch out there, change the channel logo, the art banner, maybe make a new intro, and uh, yeah, work on a few new partnerships here, so very exciting. All right, let's get back into this. All right guys, so luckily for us, because of the way we laid everything out, running our intercooler piping should be fairly simple. So on the charge pipe side, it's gonna be pretty simple. My basic plan is to have a 90 degree off of the throttle body coming straight across. And then once I get over the transmission, I'm going to do a 45 degree turn down. And then I'm gonna to have to do another 45 degree turn up into the intercooler port right here. And it's not perfectly lined up, so I might actually have to rotate one of those 90 degree or 45 degree pipes just a tiny bit to get it to line up with this port. So basically, this pipe will be right here. Just set that there. <laughs> and then we'll have a 45 kind of like here. And then the last 45, will have the piping end up going into the intercooler. So basically what I'm gonna do is start marking out everything, just kind of get the general location. I'll bust out my Sharpie and I'll mark where I wanna make my cuts and then I'll go over to my buddy's house, get all my cuts done. Main reason is I can't cut too well with my little cutoff here. And it, if I do cut with that, it makes a ton of noise. And I'm in a town home here and I don't think my neighbors would appreciate that at nine o'clock at night. Now, in my opinion, I think intercooler piping looks the cleanest when you don't have a bunch of silicone couplers being used. So for my charge pipe setup, I plan on only using one on the throttle body and one down on the intercooler. And although we're only using two couplings, we still have quite a bit of wiggle room. It's kind of nice since we're using one this way, we have wiggle room side to side and we'll have one this way, which will give us some wiggle room front to back. So that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about eyeballing all my cuts. All right, so for our first cut, we gotta make sure that we don't hit our coolant overflow and we don't hit our AN hoses right here. So I think right around here should be pretty good. If we had one of those you know, turn throttle bodies or if our port on the intercooler was turned a little bit, that adds a little bit more challenge to it. And we'll see, we'll kind of have to deal with that when we get to our other side of the intercooler where we have to connect it to the, uh, the compressor housing there. But this part should be pretty straightforward. All right, so I think I'm ready to go make my first cuts. I'll go do that and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And those cuts turned out super clean. That's gonna be perfect for welding. Let's get it mocked up. There we go. Now I'm using a special tape to mock things up today. This is called PET tape. This stuff is really nice because it works well in the cold and it's super heat resistant. And then when you finally go to weld it, you can cut off little sections of the tape and start tack welding and the tape won't melt or cause any issues. So this stuff is really awesome. Everything looks to be lining up pretty good here. So now we gotta get that last 45 degree piece in. So what I think I'm gonna do is take a tape measure, bend it at a 45 degree angle and measure from this edge to this edge then basically copy that measurement down onto this pipe here, and then we'll get ready to cut that. Right about six inches. Now, since we have a coupler where it's gonna meet up to the intercooler, we like to have a little bit of space. So I'm actually gonna cut about an inch back. Right about there. Okay, so before we go off and do some more cutting, I might as well get this little piece ready to go. So I made this a little bit easier by using a three inch to two inch 45 degree coupler here. So you can see where it connects to the turbo there. 
and comes out here. So I really only need a small piece. Now, just eyeballing it here, it doesn't, it goes off at an angle, but it's not quite 45 degrees. What I'll do is I'll cut it right here. Go ahead, cut that. And then just a couple inches down, since it's such a small gap, cut it right there as well. And I'm guessing that's gonna work. All right, we are back from cutting again with our last two pieces of the piping. We have our 45 degree pipe right here. That's gonna be going on the left side and our 25 degree pipe here. That's gonna be going on the right side. So let's go ahead, tape them up and see how they fit. That's what it's all about right there. All right, so for the right side here, we're gonna turn this back, go ahead and shove our pipe in. And it looks like this piece wants to line up right about there. And another important thing we can't forget is our blow off valve flange. So this is a HKS blow off valve flange. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it right about here. Mark the center. All right. So I guess we got everything mocked up now. As you can see with these backdoor style intercoolers, the intercooler piping layout is very simple. Most of the eBay turbo kits you buy online will have the intercooler piping coming down around uh, through that hole, through the side, and then back to the intercooler, and then through that hole right there, up here, and then into the turbo. So that extra intercooler piping just makes your turbo spool up slower and nobody wants that. Now running three inch intercooler piping can possibly cause your turbo to spool up slower, but when your charge piping is as short as ours, it shouldn't be a problem. And with three inch charge piping, we're capable of making a lot more power than I'm ever gonna push this motor to. Okay, so now it's time for me to carefully remove my intercooler and intercooler piping without removing the tape. And then I'll go ahead and bore out that hole for our blow off valve. Then I'll take everything into a nearby shop and see if I can get it welded today. So now we got everything dropped off at the welding shop down the street. Unfortunately, they said they might not be able to have everything done till Friday since they're super backed up. So that is what it is, um, I suppose. So if you wanna see the finished result after everything's taped up, you're gonna have to wait till next Tuesday. If not, I'll probably post an early update on my Instagram. You can follow me at afton.voit.ej8 just to see all this behind the scenes crafting cars action unfold. So yeah, that's all I got for you today. Obviously we have a lot more fabrication to do next Tuesday. I wanna start working on the downpipe. Uh, maybe weld up a dump tube uh, recirculation setup with the teal wastegate there and yeah get that all set up so yeah can't wait to see you then thanks again for helping our channel reach 2,000 subscribers and yeah have a good day bye, -bye. <laughs>